got the best, the hottest man in the world. I'm coming! Bang, bang, pizza skulls and schmack them a gob. You hear all that rain out there? You probably can't, but man, it's raining hard. Anyway, hey, the great Greg Szymanski. Uh, once again, asked me to do a track by track, donated, and it's, he always asks for stuff I know. And this time it's uh, Saxon. Innocence is no excuse versus Black Sabbath. And it, it is Black Sabbath Sunday with cross purposes. Now, uh, I'm going to have to edit this because i got to go grab my pen. Pen! Activated! All right. Now, um, this album, this is total record company pressure. If you see the, the Saxon documentary, they talk about it. We Need Hits, Def Leppard, which was originally a new wave of British heavy metal band. They went commercial and got huge. So since they're a new wave of British heavy metal band, they say, hey, you've got to take the Def Leppard route. And they tried, but no cigar. Though, this does have some killer tracks on it. Which one do I like more? I'm going to have to put Cross Purposes. Very underrated, like all Tony Martin albums. Exception of Forbidden. Uh, this is a great album. I love... Uh, Cross purposes, so let's do this. Is it in order? Yes, it is. All right, we start with Rocking Again. <clears throat> I love Biff's voice on the song, and it is a cool song. It's kind of mellow for an opener, but I dig the song. And uh, that's going against uh, Eyewitness. Now, this is a kick ass song about the Amish, and I do feel like it's a better song. So I'm giving that one a Sabbath. All right, then we got Call the Wild. Now, this is a cool song, but I just don't like that, that chorus. You know, and it is, you know, the commercial thing. <clears throat> and that's going against uh, Cross of Thorns, this song. It starts mellow, kind of Children of the Sea type thing, you know, mellow to heavy, with Tony Martin just Killing it, man. What a voice on that, man. Another one for Sabbath. All right, then we got... By the way, Cross of Thorns is like my favorite song off this album. Um, Back on the Streets. Um, again, you know, it's a good song. It's commercial as fuck. And the, again, the chorus blows. I just don't like the chorus. But I love this voice, man. Shit, I drove to Tampa to see Saxon the last time. And I wasn't disappointed. Oh, wait, I also flew to New York to see Saxon with UFO. And I saw Saxon on the Denim and Leather Tour opening for Triumph on the Allied Forces Tour. Is that badass or what? Um, all right, what, where, where are we? Oh, and that one's going against uh, Psychophobia. What a riff. How, how does Tony uh, Iommi do it? come up with so many killer riffs. And that song's about David Koresh, that cult leader in Waco, Waco, Texas. Um, definitely giving that one a Sabbath. That's a killer song. All right, then we got, oh, Devil Rides Out. Probably my favorite song, uh, kind of, yeah. Probably tied for my favorite song. And uh, it, it's definitely a standout, and, you know, it doesn't have that commercial flair. I can't say it sounds like early Saxon, but it is a kick-ass song. And what's that going against? Uh, Virtual Death. Alice in Chains, anybody? You know, I mean, it's very Alice in Chains. I mean, but, it, uh, but you got to think about Alice in Chains got very Sabbath-y, too, so... Sabbath borrowing from Alice in Chains, you know, but you know, you still get those killer I only riffs and it's a badass song, but you know what man? I'm gonna give this one to Saxon Finally Saxon gets a point. All right, what's next? Uh, Rock and Roll Gypsy uh, It's commercial But it's cool. I dig it and uh, It's catchy. I love it and that's going against 
Immaculate Deception. You know what? I'm not really a fan of this one. I don't really like it. So there you go. Saxon gets another one. And now we are at the halfway mark where I pick a random album. Let's go a little down here. Pick it. And then talk, go into side two. Uh, oh, Vector. Which one's this? Uh, oh, Outer Isolation. This band, <clears throat> I think they broke up. I'm not sure. They released three albums. I have all three of them. They're amazing. I discovered them when I opened for them. I didn't know who they were, and we got a gig at Churchill's, which was them, Ex Mortis. Hey, you guys want to open for Vector and Ex Mortis? I was like, dude, we'll open for anybody. Let's go. Let's do this shit. I was completely blown away by Ex Mortis, too. But Vector was like, <sighs> unbelievable. These guys, technical, thrashy metal, they're just downright amazing. And this album, man, Dying World, uh, Fast Paced Society, awesome stuff. All right, side two, <clears throat> uh, Broken Heroes. And don't you hate when you burp? Yeah, you're trying to talk, but a burp's coming. Oh, shit, my ball. Um, uh, I think Broken Here was a great song. They made a video for it. I, I heard that, and, you know, I found this album for kind of cheap. What was it? I have the price tag still on here. Uh, dude, it says 70, $79 on here. There's no way I paid $79 for this shit. <laughs> There's a sticker that says $79 on here. Boy, that's a typo. I know I bought this used, so I, I, I probably paid three bucks, four bucks for it. Back before vinyl exploded again. You know, I found this at a used place. Uh, but they released a video for it, and I love that song. I'd say it's pretty much, I guess, almost tied uh, with uh, Devil Rides Out. What's that going against? Uh, Dying for Love. It's a ballad. It's okay. I think Iomi and Martin kill it on the song. But I'm giving that one a Broken Heroes. Where are they now? All right. <clears throat> Next song is uh, Gonna Shout. Uh, it's okay. It's kind of strange a little bit. Great guitar solo from Graham on it. I think it's got a that's the best part of the song. And um, that one's going against Back to Eden, like my second favorite song on this, off this album. Uh, absolutely love it. So Sabbath gets that. Right on, Greg. Greg's a big, bit of a ball buster. <laughs> I saw that little message you sent me. He said something like, you're, you're awesome. Not really. I was like, dude, ouch, my ego, bro. Chill out with that shit. Um, and, uh, so I give that to back to you. Next is, uh, uh, Everybody Up. Yeah, this is a great rocker. I give it a thumbs up. And that one's going against, uh, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. This was a single, the video. The beginning is a little, you know, do -de 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 -de, a little whatever, but what it goes into and that riff and Tony killing it. Both Tonys, Martin and Iomi. Killer. Giving it to the hand of Rocks of Cradle. Right on. All right, then we got Raise Some Hell. This song is, you know, kind of gallopy, heavy, but it seems a little unfocused to me. It seems like it doesn't have that, that hook. It doesn't really hook me in, but it's not a bad song. It rocks, and I don't really think it's commercial like record company type song. It's them like, you know, going off in the studio, but I don't, I think it's kind of half-baked. I don't think it was left in the oven too long. Uh, what's that going against? Uh, Carnal Sin. Uh, cool song. I think this one was left in the oven just enough. Came out quite tasty. Quite a tasty song. I'm giving it to that. All right. Then we got uh, give it everything you got. Uh, this one's 
badass. It, it's kind of got like, it's fast, like hot for teacher type fast. It's kind of got that groove. It, it rips, man. It's a great damn song. Uh, but, you know, the chorus is, again, kind of weak. I, there, some of these songs on here, they're great songs, and then the chorus comes, and it kind of sounds watered down. It doesn't even sound like they put it in the oven in the first place. Uh, what's that going against? Oh, Evil Eye. You know what, man? I would say Evil Eye and Crown of Thorns are my two favorite songs off this album. And for those that don't know, Eddie Van Halen wrote that song or helped write it, and... You know, a lot of people said he played on it. Well, if you see, I did a Tony Martin interview on here, and Tony said no. He did not play on the album version, but there is a demo with Eddie Van Halen playing that song. And it's an awesome song. I definitely got to give it to that. And that's the end of it. Now, Greg, Greg Szymanski said, I hope you don't have the Japanese version, because it has a song called What's the Use? And I got to tell you, man, What's the Use, I think, is better than most of these songs on this album. If What the Use was on here, I'd, I'd put it as my third favorite. It rips, but this doesn't have any other songs, so I can't put it against anything. So, in the end, Sabbath won by a lot. Saxon got three, and Sabbath got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right on, Greg. Thanks again, dude. You are awesome at these track by tracks and I and I thank you either like an album that I don't really you know I like it I don't think it's bad but you hear the pressure I still got it I still own it and this I can't wait there's going to be a box set release with all the Tony Martin albums with the exception of Eternal Idols which is okay with me because I do have it on vinyl already I can't wait to get that box set where I can get this my favorite Tony Martin album, Tire. It used to be Eternal Idols, but now it's uh, or Tear. Um, Hellas Cross and Forbidden. Forbidden has a couple good songs, like Rusty Angels and so on. Check out the Tony Martin interview I did. It's pretty damn awesome. You can tell I'm a total fanboy. I threw out those questions, man. Anyway, that's it. Thanks again, Greg, for the donation, man. And if you'd like to donate, please... Do so. I have a PayPal in the description below. And if you like to subscribe, I say you should do that, man. You don't want your wang to fall off. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, how about the girls? What would that fall off? Well, I don't, I don't have many girls. I have, I have like uh, she -males. You don't want your wang to fall off she -males. No, I, there's some girls here. and I, you, know, you don't want no sand on there. <laughs> so... Subscribe, and you won't have to fear falling off or sand or, you know, whatever, man. You know? Hot cross buns. You don't want hot cross buns. You know what that is, right? A red poker up the ass. You don't want that shit. So subscribe, and bang, bang, pizza skulls, that little notification bell. Stay frosty. Like Greg Szymanski, that ball buster. Listen to Black Sabbath. Smack him a gob.